right is up everybody i'm no lux given back with some more hearthstone battlegrounds and i've got to read that again overseer's orb after you upgrade the tavern refresh it with minions of your most common type all right i have seen this one before do i want to embrace my inner rage or just do silas well i kind of like silas Beast Dragons, Elementals, Nagas, and Pirates. Honestly, I'm not super sure what to think about this anomaly. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely rewards you for, like, picking up on a plan as soon as possible. Which I don't necessarily think Silas is aiming to do as well. And we also have a King Nukla. Well, Selemental with a Tavern ticket on it is... Oh, excuse me, I have to sneeze. Um, yeah, I'm going to sneeze. Selemental with a Tavern ticket on it is about as good of a start as we could have had. So I do appreciate that. Um, I feel like... like I do not sneeze at all, and then I go to record these videos, and then I'm, like, all of a sudden just having to sneeze out of nowhere. So that's definitely throwing me off a little bit. Um, I sneezed in yesterday's video, which I recorded a few hours ago. Um, in between that time, I started uh, some more training with Lily. So we were doing that. Now, Tavern Tipper with a ticket... Seems like a great thing to throw bananas onto. So this is kind of interesting. I'm curious what would happen with the Overseer's Orb if I don't have any minions of a type. You know what? Let's do some... Nah, I'm, I can't just waste the gold. I could... Oh, right. I can't just lock onto that. Okay, but this is fine. Bejeweled, two Bejeweled Duelists. I do think Elementals could be fun to play. Some additional hits at potentially finding Gentle Ginny could be cool. Uh, there is now a really real reason to try to find Titus in your elementals comps it's good with Ginny and it's good with dancing barnstormer so that seems like a pretty straightforward build path that i might want to explore turn it around for now let's pick up this bejeweled duelist cycle through Selemental, and then pick up another bejeweled duelist and then use some of these bananas so the next level up, what could that give me? That could give me Party Elemental, Felemental, and Recycling Wraith. Not bad cards, uh, but the level four where you could potentially earn yourself a free Dancing Barnstormer, I think that is going to be really nice. The other ones I don't care about as much. Wildfire Elemental is good. Carbonic Copy and Emergent Flame are not super exciting. Oh, here's something interesting. Whenever you refresh and refresh. So these get free Don't stats just from leveling up. That's kind of cute. We will have the stats here to take it down. 100% win rate and we get to hit hit for the full 7 damage. So uh, I think I meant to say this at the start of the game. got a little bit distracted by the sneeze that threw off all of my opening commentary. But I'm recording this the same day as the last oh, video. Man, just a few hours later. And... That, one might make all the difference. that means... Oh, we could go into pirates pretty easily now, too. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, but I think next turn I'm just going to level, maybe sell, and then pick up two more elementals. Wait, whenever you refresh, gain plus one health. But, but that doesn't... That's not the start of turn. The start of turn isn't a refresh, 
But I think this is a refresh. We'll find out next turn whether that counts or not. Um, so what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, just that the camera wasn't working in yesterday's video and you're not getting it in today's video either as you figured it out. We're, we're five minutes into the video and I, I meant to say that up at the top. Got distracted with the sneeze. I was petting Lily right before I came over to record and now my nose is feeling a little bit runny, but honestly, I do not really sneeze, like, at all, otherwise. And then, like, I go to hit record. I know I sneezed in yesterday's video, too. I go and hit record, and then all of a sudden, I start sneezing. But, I promise you I'm mostly pretty fine. doing mostly pretty strong stuff here with Silas. Let's not forget about the Dark Moon tickets either. I'm going to wait and see if any of this stuff gets a Dark Moon ticket. And does it pump up these? It does. Okay, cool. So we pumped up these. We've got the chance to grab another Dark Moon ticket. We've got the chance to find a level 4 discovery. Oh, that's really interesting. You can't lock the shop and then level up. You'll lose it. I do have an extra gold this turn because of South Sea Busker. So I think I sell off all three of these things and, like, buy all three of these things. Or something like that. I think this is the right idea. That's a great play. I can't wait to see this shake out. Sure, let's just take the stats, and then let's grab our Dark Moon ticket. Let's see if we get a cool Elemental. We grab a second Felemental. I am going to grab that, and I'll just take this, which alongside the bananas is, like, good enough. Okay, that was a lot all in those last few seconds there, uh, but we made our board quite powerful here, I think. Especially against this specific lineup. We are just going to run the board here. And hit my opponent for a nice little chunk of damage. Uh, what are we hoping to do now? I forget. I feel like I locked onto something or something, right? Did I lock? Yes, I locked onto another Felimental. That's right. All right, so tripling the Felimental, kind of cool. I don't think we're any more likely to find Felimental by going here. Just means we could find, like, a different demon, but I don't even think there is that. Yeah, I don't think so. Refreshing is great. Refreshing just pumps up my Bejeweled Duelist with plus two health. So I don't hate that. Corpse Refiner's interesting, but I think we can do better off one more refresh. And I think I will pick up a Party Elemental. Seems good enough to me. Could also bank a Busker. But next turn, I'm just going to level and purchase something. So I don't really think there's a huge reason to bank a Busker. It would be crazy if we could get like a bunch of Felimentals and then have our most common type be Demon. If you find, like, another demon hybrid. I'm thinking that that's, like, easiest in, like, a elemental beast lobby. Where you pick up these and then, like, you get uh, Naga as your most common type. That would be funny. Right, Wind Fury and Venomous. Just gonna stick with leveling up next turn. Maybe we'll triple the Felimental off the level up. That could also be pretty cool. We're going to take out some of these characters here. A lot of my opponent's Bejeweled or, uh, stuff is going to get eaten here by the Bejeweled Duelist. And what isn't the rest of my battlefield should be able to clean up pretty easily there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That pirate is pretty good at, like, taking out um, Banana Slammas, for instance. That's kind of cool. You're good at this. All right, let's level. Great. Let's get some Dancing Barnstormer. 
Bingo Bango. Okay, we also got some other things. Which, like, are kind of a combo. I could actually see locking on to both of them here. After picking up this Dancing Barnstormer. Let's lock, then use Summoning. So that way I don't have to pick up this Selemental if I don't want to. Could sell out of three more things and pick up Carbonic Copy. But that's denying Carbonic Copy the Dancing Barnstormer trigger. I actually think Seaboard Summoner and the chance to triple Felemental might all be better than Dagger Spine Thrasher. I could see selling out of Party Elemental or Audacious, Audacious Anchor if this hits Venomous. But with Divine Shield, I think I'm just gonna sell through it. You know what? I'm gonna roll, because it, it pumps up this guy. All right, Emergent Flame here, not super excited by it. Not going to just level up next turn, Keep up but I'm going to be looking to level up pretty soon, I think. Alright, this thing gets to take out one Gunpowder Courier. Would have probably been better just in last position. I think I'm going to move it to last position next turn, so that way it can take out things like Rip Snarl Captain. That's probably where it is at its best. But for right now, we are still besting all of these opponents, getting the smack for a nice little 13 here. And we are in second place. We've taken three damage. Lich King is a pretty good tempo hero from even the first turn, so they've not taken any damage at all. Don't hate Blade Collector. But I also don't hate Rollin'. And seeing where we wind up. A bigger Seaborn Summoner kind of cool. Let's spend this Sea Summoning, see where that takes me. Wow, okay, a triple for Felimental. Love it. Let's certainly grab that. We do have access to beasts. So I think we're going to try to do beast stuff. I would love me a Titus. Ooh, Bran is a little bit too late. The Herald is really good scaling, though. This is just plus two, plus two on my board. But this could be really incredible scaling for me. We're going to put that in, but I am going to look for a Rylic. If we can. Go ahead and hire one of these if you would be so kind to give me a Rylic right here. Not quite. Peckish feels like way too much stats to pass up. Down a minion and up a goal. So I'm going to pick up a Peckish. Yeah, that's way too much stats to pass up. And then I'm giving my Elementals plus 3 plus 2 each turn. And the second I find a Rylic, I'm giving my whole shop plus 2 plus 2 every turn. Actually, plus 4 plus 4. So I think that that's definitely worth exploring. 99% to lose this combat. And they gave this guy Reborn? Oh, with their, with their Reborn rights. Yeah, that's really strong. Especially with, like, many, many Rip Snarl Captains. I'm going to take a bit of a beating here. I'd love to clear one of these things. Nope, I'm just going to get cleared myself. I take damage cap. Wow, okay, that is an impressive board early on here. We're looking to build some impressive stuff later on. So we'll see how all this fares. This is like spending one gold for a ticket. And tickets are good while I am level four. So I'm going to pick up one gold for a ticket here. Party Elemental seems like it could have some reasonable synergy, but I don't want to sell out a Felemental, so I'm not going to grab it. Alright, this is again one gold. This is also basically one gold, uh, but let's start with Patient Scout, see where that gets me. I'll do what I can. 
I should have done this first. There's the Rylek. So now I'd potentially like to build out... Oh, Peckish does not work. No. Would potentially like another battle cry. I think I'm going to pick up this Recycling Wraith just because... It's got a lot of stats on it already, too. My shop now something fierce. This is also pretty cool with the Ginny. But my shop is getting like quite massive. And my battlefield is also not that bad with the Peckish Felt Drake, which is only gonna get better as I scale up the shop. I might want to find myself a brand. Especially now that I could level up and find a brand with a bunch of extra stats on it. Your minions really oh, and this is a demon dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I joked about there being extra demons, but can I make demon my most common type? Wait, is it? No, I've got four elementals. Okay, but that's funny. That is really funny. Um, could pick up selfless hero. I'm just going to level up. Maybe I'll take a Ginny here. No, but I could take a huge Felemental. I forgot that all of these Elementals are also going to be huge. So that actually kind of rewards me to just pick up some random stuff here right now. Do all of these have a ticket? Oh my, they all do. So I guess I'm just grabbing this just for the ticket, and then I'm going to lock onto some other stuff here. Tier 5. Wow, I grab a Ginny. I think I can afford it. It's a little wild though, right? And I'm like thinking of growing Carbonic Copy. I don't even know if I want to lock on to all of this. Yeah, these are going to be so big. Let's let's lock these and pick up Carbonic Copy and Wildfire next turn. I'd love to get the Ginny in there, uh, but I think it's just too you can win this thing. silly for now. Maybe I will cut the Rylek and move more into Ginny strats. Okay, they've tripled a Carbonic Copy, but it is so much smaller than my Carbonic Copy would be, that it's kind of funny. I am still going to lose this fight. But I feel reasonably okay about where the future's going. It is it is awkward. I'm going to take Damage Cap here down to 7. So now I cannot afford to lose, and if I'm up against the Lich King soon, it's going to feel kind of terrible. Lich King did just lose a fight, though. So that's interesting. Might need to get out of Rylek right now. Might need to get out of all of this right now. Might... Maybe I get out of the Herald and the Barnstormer. It feels like I'm supposed to buy all three of these things. A good tactical choice. Let's buy all three, roll another Felemental. Plus a Party Elemental. Alright, let's... We're gonna do some cool stuff still. But we've got to uh, get a little bit stronger on board. I didn't like that one either. 
I think I actually want throw. most of the stats to go on the carbonic copy where possible. That's a cheap ticket again. Somewhat interested in the party elemental pair. So am I locking this? Yeah, I suppose I just lock this, play Wildfire Elemental, and then give it a pair of bananas. I'm just now realizing I'm not using the Carbonic copy. But I guess there's not too much to be done about that. We're gonna pop that Divine Shield. Looks like we are very likely to win this combat as well. So can't be too upset about how all of this is currently playing out. Yeah, that's a win to me. I'm no longer scaling, like, in any capacity. But I am in the top four. Now I'm up against the Lich King. So now it is really time to get to battling. I think I'm going to sell out of Bejeweled Duelist. Probably cycle through some other elementals here. Yeah, this is cheap. Gives me the ticket. Titus, but I think we are done with Death Rattles at this point. I mean, it's cool with the Ginny. We, we played Ginny and we played Dancing Barnstormer. But we didn't actually play the Ginny. We drew the Ginny. But I don't... I mean, I, I take Titus because the other two cards I'm definitely not playing. Disco Shuffler on the Feldrake actually seems pretty cool. So let's do that. It's pretty big stats. I like the Bramble Witch. I also think that Upbeat Duo could certainly be reasonable here. So let's... I mean, I think I've got to cycle through most of this stuff, right? I think I have to get out of the Ginny. And the Titus. I'll hang on to this refreshing anomaly, I think. Yeah, again, I'm, like, not using Carbonic Copy. I wanted to get Upbeat Duo in. This might prove to be a mistake, hanging on to the scam in my hand. Rip Snarl Captain now taunted. But this Feldrake is tough. This Feldrake is putting up a fight. Oh, that's a really good hit. That's a really good hit. Wow, that is an insane hit for me. 100% to win, but I think I found the 60% to lethal as well. Apologies if that was too loud, but that was a really, really exciting and powerful moment that's going to put me, I think, into the finals here. Well, bam! Just barely finding lethal, I think, is going to bring me into the finals against... Illidan Storm Rage. I will also get an Upbeat Duo trigger this turn. Uh, I am now just realizing Upbeat Duo is not that great when this is what you, when this is the type of board you're working with. Uh, but I think we can still make it work because we can use Upbeat Duo to find a copy of Peckish Feldrake potentially if we find another copy of Peckish Feldrake in the shop this turn. Party Elemental, kind of cool, uh, if we can triple that. We're also only one ticket away from doing other things. So we could just pick up any ticket we find. Here's a ticket on a Carbonic Copy. That's definitely going to be a pickup. Tripling the Copy would be really good. Tavern Tempest also has some play to it, but first let's go for this. So I'm not really looking for Feldrake here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for. 
yeah, that's going to be glow scale to give Carbonic Copy a Divine Shield. I mean, I want to be as strong as I possibly can this turn, which probably means cutting up Beat Duo. I could see Blade Collector coming in useful down the line. Down a minion and up a goal. All right, let's run with this. Might have wanted the anchor. That would have been a really interesting tech card based on whatever my opponent had. They're going double swiping off of blade collectors here. Carbonic copy just needs to survive, but unfortunately it won't summon a copy with the divine shield. Kind of got scammed there. And wildfire elemental got scammed. But, we have the stats to tie it up. All right, all right. So a taunt gives me a lot of... Welcome back. How's it going out there? I don't want to say flexibility, but it, it makes my opponent play into what I am trying to do. I'm feeling like, based off what they played, Blade Collector first then Transmuted Bramble Witch is pretty solid, but I'm definitely looking to taunt something here. Oh, this is just a taunter. Alright, this seems like a great pickup. Gentle Ginny with the additional stats is a lot better than just a blank Gentle Ginny. I think I will take a glow scale as well because that combat was pretty dang close to just having me die. Yeah, if I lose, I, I'm dead. I'll probably put the divine shield on the Ginny. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Tunnel blaster would not be bad here either. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. It's no place for mortals. Keep up the we'll just do this friend. instead of the blade collector. Blade collector's kind of small. Okay, this trades with most of that and then resummons just a little something something. Wildfire. Oh, and then Carbonic Copy actually does get to work. Oh, that's really fantastic ordering for me. I'm not sure that it's going to be enough to save me. No, it's not. They tripled their Blade Collector, so their Blade Collector was huge. But that was really interesting to learn some mechanics. And hey, we got second place. Not going to be too upset with that one. Found some interesting things. Got to play around with elementals for the first time since Gusty Trumpeter was removed from the game and got to gain a little bit of rating in the process. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no luck's given. Peace.